Example A, simplifying radicals, asks us first to simplify the square root of 50. The square root of 50 is not even. Uh, square root of 49 is, so obviously the square root of 50 is going to be something just a little bit more than 7. So what we can do to simplify this is to break 50 up into 25 times 2. So the square root of 50 would be the same thing as 25, the square root of 25 times 2. Now 2 we still don't know the square root of, it's not even, but the square root of 25 we do. 25 is a perfect square, so we can take it out from underneath the root and put it outside as the number 5, because 5 is the square root of 25. So that means that the square root of 25 times 2 is the same thing as 5 times the square root of 2. And that is the simplified version of the square root of 50. The square root of 27, similarly, 27 is 9 times 3, 9 is a perfect square, so we can take it out from under the root. Square root of 9 is 3, so it goes outside as a 3, and that gives us 3 roots of 3. And then finally, square root of 272. 272 is 16 times 17, so we have the square root of 16 times 17. And 16 we know the root of, so we put a 4 outside. And that leaves us with 4 roots of 17. All right, and then example B asks us again to simplify the radicals. First we need to add the root, two roots of 10 plus the root of 160. Uh, root of 160 is not even, obviously. Um, so what we're going to do is break it up into the square root of 16 times 10. Square root of 16 we know, that's 4. So it goes outside as a 4. And that gives us 4 roots of 10, which we're adding to 2 roots of 10, which gives us 6 roots of 10. 4 roots of 10 plus 2 roots of 10, 6 roots of 10. Now for multiplying the, the radicals, we don't need to worry about having the same radical. don't have to have the same number underneath. We can just multiply the whole numbers and then multiply the radicals themselves. So we have 5 times 4, that gives us 20. And then we have 6 times 18, that's 60, 40, 108. 108 reduces to 36 times 3, so we have 20 times the root of 36 times 3. And 36 we know, root of that is 6, right? So we're going to pull a 6 outside, so that gives us, with that 6 out here, that gives us 20 times 6, or 120 square roots of 3, since the 3 is all that's left underneath. For C, we have 1 square root of 8 times 12 square roots of 2, so we're just going to multiply the outside numbers. 1 times 12 is 12, and 8 times 2 is 16, so we have 12 roots of 16, and the root of 16 is whole, it's 4, so we have 12 times 4, or 48. And then finally for our last example here, D, we have 5 square roots of 2 squared, so that's 5 square roots of 2 times 5 square roots of 2. So we have 5 times 5, that's 25. And then we have the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, that's square root of 4. And square root of 4, of course, we know that's 2, so we get a total of 50, 2 times 25. Now the other way to look at this square root of 2 times square root of 2 that's also the square root of 2 squared. So if you like, you can think of that as the square and the square root canceling each other, because that would leave us with just 2, which of course is the same thing as the square root of 4, right? So we could have looked at that either way. In either case, we end up with 25 times 2, or 50. And then finally, example C, divide and simplify the radicals. So we have to take 4 roots of 6 divided by square root of 3. So we're going to take 4 roots of 6 over square root of 3 and get the 3 out of the denominator by multiplying top and bottom by the same number. And then this is going to work just like that too we just talked about, right? We have square root of 3 squared, so that's going to leave us just 3 in the denominator. And then 4 roots of 6 times root of 3, so we're going to multiply the 6 and the 3, we get 4 roots of 18, 
So, so far so good, but now we need to simplify this root of 18. That's 9 times 2, right? So we have 4 roots of 9 times 2 over 3. 9 we know the square root of, that's a 3. So we'll put a 3 outside. So now we have 3 times 4 roots of 2 over 3. Since everything's multiplied up here, we can cancel. So we have just 4 roots of 2 as our answer. For root 30 over root 8, we get, multiplying top and bottom by root 8, we get 30 times 8 up here, root 8 times root 8 down here. The roots cancel. We end up with just 8 in the denominator. 8, 240, root 240 on top. I should change colors in between. I'll do that for the next one, sorry. Uh, so we have root 240, which would be 16 times 15. So that's square root of... 16 times 15 over 8. Square root of 16 we know, that's a 4. So that gives us 4 square roots of 15 over 8, and then 4 cancels into 8 to give us square root of 15 over 2. And then finally for our last one, let me change colors. We have 6 roots of 7 under 8 roots of 2. First thing I'm going to do is divide everything by 2, so we have 3, 4, so we have 4 roots of 2 over 3 roots of 7, and we'll multiply top and bottom by root 7, so that'll give us 4 roots of 14, because we can go ahead and just multiply the 7 underneath, right, over 3 times root 7 times root 7, so just 3 times 7, or 21, and that's it. That's as far as it reduces, because 4 doesn't go to 21, and square root of 14 doesn't break up in anything that has an even root. So all we did was multiply top and bottom by root 7. That's it.